Hey, Tiger fans, Mark Fitzpatrick, Tiger Club of Kansas City. Today is Tuesday, September 26th at the Westport Flea Market. Our guest speaker today, the award-winning columnist of the Kansas City Star, Vahe Gregorian. Vahe, I feel like Kansas City is now the epicenter of football and popular culture. What a week. What are you, you had an article about it today. It, yeah, it was fun to have Taylor Swift show up at the Chiefs game the other day. The, the rumors turned out to be true. Um, and... Uh, I, I think heads are exploding at this collision of worlds. I felt like it was kind of surreal, and I'm not – I have great respect for Taylor Swift, but I, I can't say I know her body of work, but, she, I, but it's just really cool, isn't it? She didn't come into the interview room and talk No, to I was really disappointed. Uh, you know, we're, we're used to having all kinds of access uh, to these people at the games, but it, isn't it interesting to be in a place where Patrick Mahomes is only the, at, at best second, <laughs> second most known? Uh, talking about the Chiefs, uh, lost the open of the Lions, but kind of righted the ship the last two weeks. Still, I don't know, you know, Dolphins are great. Chiefs, though, still got to be team to beat, I think. Yeah, what's interesting about beating the Bears so badly was my, my colleague and friend Sam McDowell wrote about this a little bit. Did we learn anything? I mean, really, I, I, I hate to be too insulting, but the Bears are just terrible. And But the, 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 the whole thing is to get better every game. So at, at least they, they made way fewer mistakes. Um, they were crippled in each of the first two games by the, the drop passes in the first game, the penalties in the second game, cleaned up a lot of that. But they, they've obviously got plenty of room to improve and, uh, and get to know each other better. We're seeing elements of the passing game come together, a little more connectivity and timing with Patrick and, and his receivers. But it, they, they've got a ways to go. The real surprise has been the defense. Uh, I think it's 40 points in three games it's given up, and one of those doesn't even count because it was a, a pick six. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Mizzou Tigers, of course. Uh, Tigers 4-0, going to Vanderbilt this weekend. They're favored. Have a chance to be five and go to LSU. Did you see this coming with Mizzou this year? I really didn't think Missouri would beat K-State. I, I thought the way that went last season and uh, what we saw early from K-State and what we saw early from Missouri sort of pretended a, uh, a, a, rough, a rough day in Columbia. And I... So I, I think that that win told me something about Missouri, and I think tells fans that, that there's a chance for them to, to really make some strides this year. Um, we'll, we'll get a lot more of a reality check. I, I assume Missouri ought to be able to handle Vanderbilt, but in the weeks to come after that, starting with LSU, I think we'll, we'll learn whether this can be an 8-9-10 type win season or if it's going to be another 6-7 in that range. I saw an interesting chart today. It had the Heisman candidates or leaders and their stats, and mostly quarterbacks. And the comment, it was by a Mizzou person, Brady Cook's stats were very comparable to most of these Heisman candidates. The kid has really come on. Well, the, the couple plays he's made, and especially on that, on that, I, I assume it was still a bad knee or you know yeah. all the things he's dealing with. I, I, I love that game he played Saturday in St. Louis. I, I loved it for its grit, for its poise, and all it tells you about him and I, I do believe when you've got a leader with that kind of intensity and certainly a, a really fine talent, he can, he can make it be about more than, than um, just what they have at hand. I mean, he can be a multiplier for them. Yeah. Um, we talked also about Mizzou basketball and Dennis Gates. Uh, it seems like he's knocking out of the park with recruiting. Um, you've had to spend some time with him. I, basketball program's in good hands. It, it really is in good hands. And, and how, how – uh, sharp and alert for them to find them. As, as you know, I, I, I was a, a, a big Conzo Martin fan, big Kim Anderson fan, but something just wasn't going right in their tenures. Dennis Gates seems to have a feel for the situation and to be able to hit the ground running in a, in a way that is uh, really pretty striking. I think he'll be on the radar nationally um, more and more as we, as we see this program grow. Last question I want to ask you a topic talked about a lot today was the New stadium for the Royals. Um, obviously, there's much to be decided. Um, your thoughts on it right now in a nutshell? Yeah, I, I think um, in a way it's a little frustrating that we don't know more yet. On the other hand, it's, it is certainly a generational decision, and uh, there's no point in just being hasty uh, just to get it done. I, um, With all due respect to our friends in North Kansas City, I guess I hope it's downtown, not so much because it's closer to me, but – but really because I do think um, the, the things, the spirit of what they spoke about uh, when they un unfolded, unfurled this idea was really about ways to make downtown, make Kansas City a better place. And I think 
you only have a chance to do that if you're in the core of it in that way. It, it certainly could be a great point of growth and excitement and, 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 and for good in North Kansas City. But I think there's a, a, a potential ripple effect to be had if it's done right in the heart of downtown. All right. Bye. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Mark. He's won a national awards and we're blessed to have him in Kansas City. Hey, folks, next week we will have the first appearance at our club by Mizzou's new baseball coach, Carrick Jackson. Strongly encourage you to come down to the flea market. I had a chance to meet Carrick a couple weeks ago. He's a great guy, and I think our program also there is in good hands. For more information on speakers, membership, go to kctigerclub.com.